Good morning guys, a new day here in Armenia and today we will explore the area near Mount Aragats so join me on this adventure, let's go! Good morning. It's a sunny day again, guys, in Armenia, so I'm not complaining. Um, the next few days it could rain probably, but uh, let's make the best of it. Seems I'm a little bit early. The driver isn't here yet. But uh, yeah, let's relax a little bit. And then we go to the Mount Aragats. Hello, good morning. How are you today? Fine, are you? Uh, I'm great, thank you. So here we are on our way to Mount Aragats. Hello, good morning, Shush. How are, <laughs> How are you? I'm <laughs> fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. So we arrived at the first stop of today, guys, and this is... Sarmosavank Monastery, built in the 13th century. So, Sarmosavank means the Monastery of Psalms, as Psalms, famous prayers, were being uh, collected uh, and even are written just in this monastery. That's why it is called Sarmosavank, the Monastery of Psalms. Awesome. I look forward to this visit. And what will we see more today? So today we are going to see also the valley, sorry, alley of alphabet, Armenian alphabet alley, which is located not far from this spot. And in the end, we are going to drive to the slopes of Mount Aragat, the highest peak of Armenia, where we have very beautiful place with the only best preserved fortress in the territory of Armenia, Ambert Fortress. So the original plan was we would also visit Lake Kari, but there are some problems there right now, right? Yeah, it's, uh, the road is really very snowy and I'm afraid we'll stuck <laughs> yeah, yeah. the road. So that's why we decided to skip uh, Lake Kari, as uh, right now it's not the best season uh, for that. Mainly from June, uh, the road is clean, is open, and it's uh, possible to visit that lake. Yeah, a little bit disappointed, but you know, safety first. It's not worth it to crash down there somewhere in a, a valley or something like that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and we don't want to freeze there as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's minus over there, by the way. Oh, okay. And look at this beautiful monastery. Amazing. So here another look at the monastery very nice but then you walk a little bit to here and look at this amazing view incredible right oh, and some nice place for some lovers sitting on the <laughs> bench there with the heart it's also nice yeah, and here we have uh, an artist that sells some paintings I guess yeah he's Gevork by the way very yeah. famous Ah, yeah, really? Painter, yeah. He's a very famous very painter. Sure, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Privet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these. They're actually really beautiful. And of course, who wouldn't like to paint on a place like this? Look, painting with a view. Uh, gorge of Kasach River, the main yeah. river of Aragatotan region, and of course, uh, you see Mount Ararat in front. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Today we are lucky, we have this perfect, fabulous view, and of course, Salmosavank Monastery is located atop uh, the gorge of Kasach River. So, look at this view, guys! Incredible! Wow, cannot believe it! What an amazing place! Yeah, 
to be honest, this is my favorite spot this far in Armenia. Just be one with nature. Beautiful gorge down there. The river. Incredible. I could stay here for a couple of hours to be honest, but uh, unfortunately I don't have the time for that, but let's just enjoy this moment for a little while. I'm really impressed by these paintings. Do you speak English? Uh, a little bit. Oh, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's only <Roger> yeah. <laughs> very beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, can I buy one? I can make one. Let's see. Yeah. With pleasure. <laughs> I, I would like to have this one. Yeah. This? Yeah, this one. It uh, will be a present for my mom. <laughs> So he wants to uh, sign with his left hand uh, like a mirror. So you put a mirror like this and you will fit. This is the safest way to carry it. Спасибо большое. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Spasiba. <laughs> so uh, now let's go to the monastery. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. I think my mom will be very happy with this. <laughs> so Chush, I think this place must be one of your favorites, right? It is due to this view. Yeah. <laughs> it's I like incredible. Gorgeous. I like this kind of views. So uh, it's inspiration we can say yeah yeah now let's see if we can enter the monastery and everywhere around these ancient monasteries you can see those hachkar stones really beautiful look at this one for example wow yeah, it's uh, really nice do the stars have a meaning so uh, they have different meanings uh, first of all of course they are decorations and also uh, some people say that it is like a star of david but no uh, in armenia so in armenian culture architecture we call it the star of like jesus not a star of david yeah and look at this beautiful door also So this is the vestibule of the church, main church, built in 12th, 15th, 13th century. Vache Vachutian, uh, from the noble family Vachutian, built this church in the 13th century. If you remember, I mentioned that this is a monastery of Psalms. Next to the main church, there is a small scriptorium where the monks were rewriting, writing, collecting all those uh, Psalms. Now first let's enter this small chapel scriptorium, then we will enter the main one. Here we have frescoes which are not preserved so well. This tiny <laughs> chapel is called St. Gregory the Illuminator. And here we have the fresco of St. Gregory uh, with his staff. Unfortunately it is yeah. not preserved so well. But here as well we have some frescoes of the Apostles of Jesus Christ. 12 apostles on both sides. The architectural style is really unique. Here we have vaulted arches that are keeping the dome of the church. Look at this beautiful carpet. So nice. And I see people probably leave some money here as an offer the one thing I uh, noticed about these monasteries that they all have very small windows so uh, inside it's always quite dark but it is something unique to see look at that lovely chandelier not original by the way it's quite new but I love to swing on the chandelier <laughs> Just joking. Here 
Here we are again at the main church. It's really unique with its decorations, and this narsex was added to the church a little later. You can yeah. see that it was. And it has beautiful inscriptions as well. Yeah. It's old Armenian. Old Armenian language, Grappa. Yeah. So and very difficult to read. To read, yeah. Yes. But uh, spiritual people, priests, are studying it in their seminariums, yeah. so they can easily read it. And this is the main and active church, St. Sion, built in the 13th century, 1215. It was, of course, partly restored, especially the dome part. But this is cozy, nice, again, cross-shaped dome church. Yeah, and it's not so dark here than the other rooms. Yeah. Here you see, on the dome, there are more windows. Yeah. Usually, we are not having windows on the dome, but here we have it. It was originally right. like that, or yes. it was because of no, the reconstruction? No, 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 no. originally. Oh, okay. So, bye-bye monastery. It was a uh, really nice, beautiful visit, right? Beautiful, Sarmo Savang. <laughs> yeah, Sarmo Savang Monastery. Beautiful. Oh, there's a dog sleeping under the car. Hey, doggy, you need to go out there. Hello, doggy. Go out, we're gonna move. Don't want you to get killed. Oh, yeah, he already knows. <laughs> okay. Bye bye, doggy. So guys, unfortunately we cannot see Kari Lake, but we have a small lake right here, so that's nice too. And over there we have the letters of the Armenian alphabet, so let's check those out. So this is my favorite letter in the Armenian alphabet. Can you tell me why it's my favorite? <laughs> this is letter R, so Rob, <laughs> but in Armenian we say Rob, R, so behind it there is letter R, we can go and show you uh, the other version of your letter, Oh. so you need to choose, you want R or you want R. <laughs> oh, so I'm kind of special because I have two options here. <laughs> Do you have two options? No, uh, see? I'm just one. <laughs> see? So I'm kind of special, guys. <laughs> How many letters are there in the Armenian alphabet? So we have 39 letters. Three letters were added to the Armenian alphabet in the 12th century. Before that, we had only 36 of them. By the way, this alphabet is in use since 4 or 5, 5th century. Oh. Oh my god. And why just here we have this uh, alley of alphabet? As here the height above sea level is 1600 meters and these uh, letters were put here in 2005 when we were celebrating 1600 anniversary of the creation of the Armenian alphabet. Oh, so that's why. <laughs> okay, thank you for explaining. So, uh, it seems that it's one of the oldest alphabets in the world, it right? It is, yeah. Uh, it is uh, one of the oldest, rather rich alphabet. We have all the signs, all the sounds. That's why it's easy for us to study other languages as well. And by the way, Armenian language is also very difficult and very ancient language. And it belongs to Indo-European language families, but separate branch and very rich language. Yeah, so I see like they have some other statues there as well, beside the letters. Yeah, there are the statues of uh, famous Armenians, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, the Mesrop Mashtot, who was the creator of the Armenian alphabet. We have uh, some of the uh, historians, the statue of our king, who financed Mesrop Mashtot to go abroad and to create an alphabet. We have... Uh, one of the uh, statues to one of our poets uh, 
Hovan Estumanian, Hajat Urabovian, who created new spoken Armenian language of Ashkarabar. So, ah, awesome. <laughs> Let's uh, take a closer look to those uh, artists. So, this statue here is depicting the creation of the Armenian letters in 405. Really beautiful. And uh, what is this one? Next to it? Yeah. That is one of our historians. Ah, okay. And the other guy proudly standing there is Khachatura Bovian, famous poet of the 19th century who created the new Armenian spoken language called Ashkarabar. So he collected the dialects of Arat Valley and created easier spoken language. So the language you speak today is from the 19th yes, century and yes. the ones we see in the monasteries is it's, from 405. Uh, even before that, uh, oh. ancient Armenian language, yeah. But the letters are the same. Just in the world there are two types of Armenian right now. Eastern Armenian, that is spoken at the Republic of Armenia, and Western Armenian, which is spoken by the diaspora Armenian. So Western Armenian is much more closer to ancient Armenian language of Gadapar. And by the way, in this small country, we have 60 different dialects. Can you believe that? 60 different? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> And over there they're building like a new church and uh, I don't know the walls over there maybe some old fortress or something like that guys and what a beautiful view we have from here look at all the Armenian letters over there amazing vantage point small lake Kari <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed we cannot go there because it's a really beautiful lake but yeah, of course, it's 3,000 meters or more above sea level, so too much snow there right now, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed in that because it was one of my favorite places I would love to visit here. And over here we have another beautiful monument. So many interesting places in Armenia. I'm so surprised. Mostly when people talk about former Soviet countries, they think like the old Soviet buildings and everything. Of course you have those as well here, but... Uh... Oh, 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 shim, damn. Whew. Almost, uh... <laughs> yeah, so clumsy sometimes. So a uh, beautiful visit here to this uh, alphabet monument and now let's go to Ambert Fortress. Why? <laughs> Look at all those sheep. Incredible. Plenty of sheep on our way to Ember. And uh, beautiful views on the Aragans Mountain. So the people we saw here, they actually live in those stands over there. Look at this, what a beautiful viewpoint. Over there we have uh, another monastery, I think. Right over there. And then uh, there is the beautiful Amber Fortress, where we will go to next. Wow, what a beautiful viewpoint here. 
Oh, incredible. The beauty of Armenia. You have to come here in this area when uh, you are in Armenia. It's uh, really stunning. So we arrived at the fortress, guys, and every day it's open from 10 till 8 p.m. And uh, look at this beautiful view. Is it a, a monastery as well? Uh, that is church, a Holy Godmother Church, built in the uh, 11th century. Uh, but sometimes we call it Vahra Mashen, as it was built by Vahram Pahlavuni from the famous Pahlavuni dynasty. And it's a very nice terrace here. Yes, and a very nice view to the fortress of Ambert, located in between um, at the confluence of Arkashen and Ampert River. So uh, from the viewpoint of uh, fortification, the place is really very perfect one as from both sides it is uh, surrounded by deep gorges and by the way um, here since the ancient times since the Urartian period there was a fortress which was destroyed and later uh, in the seventh century uh, by Kamsarakan noble dynasty another fortress was built here which later was fortified by other Armenian dynasties like Pahlavuni and later Zakarit who set free uh, this um, uh, fortress from different tribes who invaded this area so by the way Ambert means reaching the clouds as it is located at the slopes of Mount Arad at the height of 2300 meters above sea level the Armenian flag waving proudly <laughs> <laughs> next to this beautiful fortress and if you look very very far you can see Yerevan So, uh, as you see, the fortress is not in the best condition anymore. Uh, can you still go inside there? We can, but believe me, it's uh, dangerous. So, that's why it's better not to do that. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, what could happen there uh, if you would enter? You see, there are cracks on the wall. Ah, yeah, I and noticed sometimes it. Sometimes uh, the stones are falling down, and of course, it is dangerous for people to be inside. I guess the part over here also collapsed. So uh, yeah, I think uh, Shush was right. It can be quite dangerous here. So uh, the ticket price here was uh, 1,500 gram to enter this place, which is not that much. It's like three euro or something like that. So yeah, not so expensive. Here's some sort of a tower. Would it be safe to still enter here? I was just uh, looking if we could go inside, yeah, but I'm not can. sure. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. And of course, it's a nice. Yeah, it's beautiful view. Eh? But everywhere around the castle, there are beautiful views. Sure. dome is unique one you see we have an umbrella style we call it umbrella style dome yeah but uh, the church itself uh, doesn't have a lot of decoration or carving it's quite modest church located on a hedge of this triangle style rock looking again to the gorge but it is a really beautiful location to build the church perfect location. <laughs> yes yes <laughs> perfect location isolated from the entire land so um, really a perfect spot and there we have a small cemetery or graveyard yeah it's long before this was a huge complex 
uh, fortress with the surrounding uh, buildings and uh, all the equipment we can say for the uh, army to stay. They had their best house, they had their water reservoir, uh, separate uh, buildings uh, to stay there, and of course the citadel where mainly uh, the king or the duke was staying with his generals and even the church. And then behind the church you have this beautiful view here over the gorge and then we just turn around and we have the entrance of this beautiful church. And I see there are like a lot of inscriptions in the walls but I'm not sure if it's uh, really supposed to be like that. This one is original, I guess. Yeah, the cross yeah. is original. You can see here uh, an inscription, old one. Only a small part of it is preserved here as well. The church is an active one. Right now, it's not active anymore. Yeah, but of course, it was also restored in the 20th century. And if you look up, you can see some small part of ancient yeah. part of the dome. Like you said, it's modest but still quite unique. Yeah. Everywhere in these uh, monasteries, I can see those carpets. Are there uh, Armenian carpets? Uh, yes, uh, the churches, we have Armenian carpets, and Armenian carpets have also an ancient uh, meaning, ancient, uh, this is an ancient tradition in Armenia, and Armenians are using double knot, which is uh, the ancient way of weaving carpets. Mm -hmm. And in each Armenian carpet, you will notice crosses, so the colors, the symbols have meanings, that's why. And we are putting uh, inside the churches as um, because of the places, because of the stone, of course, it's uh, called inside. That's why uh, we are putting carpets to warm it somehow. picture perfect shot so guys that was a beautiful walk around the castle here and uh, I think we're just gonna finish in time because look at the clouds I think it's gonna rain soon yeah amazing place again here in Armenia look at the views over here as well with the small river down there Oh, look, a cave! Oh, it's a really small one. So guys, this was it for this video. What a beautiful day we got around Mount Aragats. We saw monasteries, we saw fortress, we saw a church, beautiful landscapes. What an amazing day it was. So uh, I hope to see you again soon on another adventure here in Armenia. Take care, cheers, bye-bye.